football game tonight. Yeah. The Mets play Tuesday. Let's right. see how you pick. That's right. Tonight's Seahawks 49ers matchup has been a battle for the top of the division in recent years, but the winner of tonight's game will avoid dropping to the basement in the NFC West. Both teams are two and four in two games behind the four and two Cardinals. Mr. Smith, who wins this one? Well, I'm definitely not going to pick the 49ers. I don't care how respectable they've looked. I don't care about the fact that they just beat the Ravens. I consider this a subpar team, to be quite honest with you. And I think that the Seattle Seahawks are desperate. They recognize at this particular juncture, they simply cannot afford to lose this game. This season is slipping away from the two-time reigning defending NFC champions. And they've got to get their act together. And it starts tonight in Santa Clara, you know, that San, uh, California, for crying out loud. They've got to handle their business. The 49ers are obviously a division rival. They're a team to be reckoned with, although they're two and four and they look like straight garbage for about three weeks. They have had a couple of games this year where they have looked formidable, but I don't believe that they're on the same level as Seattle. I think tonight Seattle Russell Wilson connects with Jimmy Graham. I think Beast Mode and Rawls gets involved in the action to give you some semblance of a running game. And I think this defense, the Legion of Boom, steps up, recognizing uh, that, that Colin Kaepernick likely will beat you more with his legs than with his arm. And I think this speed on the defensive side of the ball is going to be up to the task of neutralizing Colin Kaepernick. I think they will do so successfully. And I think the Seahawks win this game 23 to 13. 23 to 13. Yes. <sighs> I remind everyone, this is your Super Bowl pick, right? Seattle yes. Seahawks, along with the yes, Indianapolis is. Colts. I you just want to get that on that. the record. Yep. No, wait, 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 wait. You remember, I threw the, the Colts aside weeks ago. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you're off I that bandwagon. That. Okay, we, we appreciate yes. that. Mm hmm. You know, I, up front, I will admit to you, if I felt like I had any gut sitting here right now, I would pick the 49ers because I think they have a really good shot at beating a Seattle team that should be one and five last uh, right now. The, obviously, the bat out of hell play cost Detroit that game at Seattle. Should be one and five right now. Your Seahawks have blown four fourth quarter leads, which I find mind blowing. And the only game they legitimately won, which was at home, came when my guy Jay Cutler could not play with the pulled hamstring and Jimmy Clausen played the whole game for the Chicago Bears at the Seahawks. That's the only game they have put in the bank where I said, oh, way to go. You actually legitimately, impressively won a game against Jimmy Clausen. So my point is, through six games, six weeks of the season on their part, I, nothing impressive yet from the Legion of Boom, which has often been the Legion of Doomed in the fourth quarter because Stephen A., they have outscored opponents through the first three quarters by 43, plus 43 points. In the fourth quarter, they are a minus 28 this year. That is incomprehensible to me that a defense this great would play this poorly. Now, they do get Bobby Wagner back tonight, and I think he's a big deal for this defense in leadership, playmaking, quarterbacking. I think he's as important as we talked about how Cam Chancellor was important to the secondary. I think Bobby Wagner makes this thing go also. So he didn't play last week. He will play this week. Way to go. But now I look at the 49ers. Very quietly, they're starting to play pretty well. And at home, they've played very well. And by the way, your shot at Santa Clara. I, I love Santa Clara. I, it's a beautiful I, I, stadium. A football, I've been to the new not stadium. Not as a football, hold on, hold on, Not as a football locale. Not as a football locale. From a football locale in terms of a rabid fan base inside that stadium, uh -huh. we all know Candlestick Park is considerably better. But Santa Clara obviously is a very, very beautiful city. Mm -hmm. There's no question about okay, that. But Candlestick, and I went there many, many, many times. It was a dump. I loved it. it was, it a, was dump. a flat out dump, and it was a great home field advantage dump for the 49ers because well, the field was saying. a fog and the I'm winds saying. were tricky. Okay, exactly. I, I get that. I get that. But right. I, I like the city of Santa Clara. I thought you were taking a shot. Sure. I spent no, a lot of time there also. I love Santa all. Clara, but that's just me. Not at all. Okay. Santa Clara, I'm In talking about Santa the home, Clara, home field as you call it, yes. the 49ers, remember on opening night, they beat the Vikings 20-3. to Way to go, Eric Mangini, yep. our, our guy who used to be on our show here with us, is the new defensive coordinator. And then at home recently, 
They held Green Bay to 17 to 3. Now they could only score three, but they held the great Aaron Rodgers to only 17 points. The bad man that he used to be, 17 points for Aaron Rodgers. Then they go to New York and they lose only 30 to 27. And then this past Sunday, as you point out, at home they did beat what's left of the Ravens 25 to 20. My point is they're starting to come alive. They had two disasters after the big opening night win. They went to Pittsburgh and lost 43 to 18. And they went to Arizona and really lost 47 to 7. So after that, I'm starting to like this team a little bit. I'm starting to like the way Colin Kaepernick plays a little bit. I like his weapons a lot. He still has a Bolden. He's got a Torrey Smith now. He's got a Vernon Davis. He's got a Carlos Hyde. Those are legitimate weapons with which you can pull off a quote-unquote upset. And t tonight in this game, I I'm looking for Colin Kaepernick to want some, some blood here. Like, there's well, bad blood between these teams. You remember what happened in the, the NFC Championship yeah. game two years ago? That, and, but that's and, not the same team, Skip. Okay, I know it's not. But who made the underthrow that put Richard Sherman on the national map? I thought that Colin yes. Kaepernick, he threw too much of a line drive, got no air underneath the ball to Crabtree in the corner of the end zone with, what was it, uh, 30 seconds left? Um, yeah, 30 seconds left. The game was 23-17 to 17 at that point, uh, Seattle. And, and if you pull that pass off, you win the game. And Richard Sherman made a great play on the ball, tipped it, obviously intercepted in the end zone. But you don't think Colin Kaepernick has lived with that for – for two years and would like to get a little revenge? Doesn't matter. Yeah? Doesn't matter, and here's why, Skip, because it's not the same team, it's not the same coach, it's not the same defense. Right at that round that time, you're talking about two of the premier defenses in all of football going up against one another. This year, the 49ers are the dead, ranked dead last. They're the 32nd ranked defense in all of the NFL, ranking 28th against the pass. That's number one. Number two, yeah. they've got the worst passing attack in the NFL, okay? Yep. So you combine those two elements. I, I don't think it's the same scenario. I think we both know it's not the same scenario. Carlos Hyde can play some football. He's averaging better than four yards a carry. We understand that. We get the fact that Anquan Bolden is still around with Torrey Smith. We can sit there and look at They've got some legitimate, decent weapons on the offensive side of the ball. What they don't have... They don't have the Patrick Willis's of the world. They don't have the Alden Smiths of the world. They don't have the Justin Smiths of the world. They don't have a, a Jim Harbaugh as yep. their coach. They this is not the same people. team. This is not the same ingredient. I don't think you can compare the two because Seattle is relatively the same, whereas San Francisco is an entirely new and far more inferior team than they used to be. I don't see the resemblance. I think there could be a tough game. But I don't see San Francisco winning this game. As a matter of fact, I'm willing to go as far as to say this. If Seattle loses this game, I don't know if they'd be my Super Bowl pick anymore because well, they I would agree. officially mm -hmm. they officially they officially will have announced that they are no longer the franchise, the same franchise All that right. they have been. Okay, this is an arch rivalry. I know a lot of key pieces are gone on the San Francisco side. But if I were a betting man, and I am not. This line opened at four and a half, Seattle minus four and a half, and it got bet all the way up to Seattle minus six and a half. If you would give me six and a half points, I would take that. I think it's going to be a much closer game than you think. You got it a 10 point game. I'll say it's a three point game. I'll say it's 20, I would take the six 20 and to half. 17. What's that? I would take the six. I would take the six and a half. You mean you would give the six and a half? I would give the I would give the six and yes. a half. Yes, okay. I would. All right. So because you got it, what'd you say? 20. Three to 23, 13. 13. Okay. 23, 13. 23, 13. 13. And I got a 20 to 17 Seattle. And, and I'm going to say it one last time. If I had any guts right now, I would pick the 49ers because I got a feeling this is going to go to the wire. To that well, you really stepped out on a limb there, well, Skip. I, just I said mean, if I, I had any guts, I, I would pick the 49ers, 20 to 17. Yeah. So you hedge your bet. So when they could sit there and win tomorrow, well, I said, I mean, hey, you know, yeah. I, and I, I, somebody, if I had the courage. Somebody oh, sat here on our set yesterday at the end of the show and said, well, I, I, I I think the Mets are going to win tonight, but they may not win tonight. I don't know. I said that. You said that. I said that. Yes, you I did. did. I called for a sweep. And I, I said, are you sweet. wavering? You said, well. I called for a sweep. Mm. I yeah. called for a you sweep. You did not call for That's a sweep. You were, you yes, were wishy-washy about yeah. it. Oh, whatever. All whatever. Right. I have no recollection of that. I have no recollection of that whatsoever. You both have selective memories. Listen, the home cooking has helped in the past. Actually. <laughs> Since the Seahawks drafted Russell Wilson, the home team, and the Seahawks Niners series has gone 6-1, and one, including the playoffs. The lone home loss was the 49ers on Thanksgiving night. But they're both going with Seattle.
So now that they've picked tonight's winner, we have another angle focused on the Seahawks. Can they get back on track to make a playoff run? Hit us up on Twitter, replying to the hashtag fix the Seahawks. We'll have those results later in the show. After the break, Johnny Menzel back in the news for all the wrong reasons. Should Johnny be benched for his transgression? Stay tuned for that discussion. Football game tonight. Yeah. The Mets play Tuesday. That's Let's right. see how you pick. That's right. Tonight's Seahawks 49ers matchup has been a battle for the top of the division in recent years, but the winner of tonight's game will avoid dropping to the basement in the NFC West. Both teams are two and four in two games behind the four and two Cardinals. Mr. Smith, who wins this one? Well, I'm definitely not going to pick the 49ers. I don't care how respectable they've looked. I don't care about the fact that they just beat the Ravens. I consider this a subpar team, to be quite honest with you. And I think that the Seattle Seahawks are desperate. They recognize at this particular juncture, they simply cannot afford to lose this game. This season is slipping away from the two-time reigning defending NFC champions. And they've got to get their act together. And it starts tonight in Santa Clara, you know, that uh, California, for crying out loud. They've got to handle their business. The 49ers are obviously a division rival. They're a team to be reckoned with, although they're two and four and they look like straight garbage for about three weeks. They have had a couple of games this year where they have looked formidable, but I don't believe that they're on the same level as Seattle. I think tonight Seattle, Russell Wilson connects with Jimmy Graham. I think Beast Mode and Rawls gets involved in the action to give you some semblance of a running game. And I think this defense, the Legion of Boom, steps up recognizing uh, that, that Colin Kaepernick likely will beat you more with his legs than with his arm. And I think their speed on the defensive side of the ball is going to be up to the task of neutralizing Colin Kaepernick. I think they will do so successfully. And I think the Seahawks win this game 23 to 13. 23 to 13. Yes. I remind everyone, this is your Super Bowl pick, right? Seattle yes. Seahawks, along with the yes, Indian Indianapolis Colts. I you just want to get that on that. the record. Yep. No, wait, 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 wait. You remember, I threw the, the Colts aside weeks ago. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you're off I that bandwagon. That. Okay, we, we appreciate yeah. that. Mm hmm You know, I, up front, I will admit to you, if I felt like I had any gut sitting here right now, I would pick the 49ers because I think they have a really good shot at beating a Seattle team that should be one and five last uh, right now. The, obviously, the bat out of hell play cost Detroit that game at Seattle. Should be one and five right now. Your Seahawks have blown four fourth quarter leads, which I find mind blowing. And the only game they legitimately won, which was at home, came when my guy Jay Cutler could not play with the pulled hamstring and Jimmy Clausen played the whole game for the Chicago Bears at the Seahawks. That's the only game they have put in the bank where I said, oh, way to go. You actually legitimately, impressively won a game against Jimmy Clausen. So my point is, through six games, six weeks of the season on their part, I, nothing impressive yet from the Legion of Boom, which has often been the Legion of Doomed in the fourth quarter because Stephen A., they have outscored opponents through the first three quarters by 43, plus 43 points. In the fourth quarter, they are a minus 28 this year. That is incomprehensible to me that a defense this great would play this poorly. Now, they do get Bobby Wagner back tonight, and I think he's a big deal for this defense in leadership, playmaking, quarterbacking. I think he's as important as we talked about how Cam Chancellor was important to the secondary. I think Bobby Wagner makes this thing go also. So he didn't play last week. He will play this week. Way to go. But now I look at the 49ers. Very quietly, they're starting to play pretty well. And at home, they've played very well. And by the way, your shot at Santa Clara. I, I